Hi everyone, Chef Petey coming from my home kitchen to yours. We are entering our fifth week of the state imposed quarantine with no end in sight. There's even talks of canceling our Minnesota State Fair. No! We have the second largest fair in the country with over 2 million visitors binge eating for 12 straight days. I'm crossing my fingers that this night will be over by then. Oh. Okay, speaking of binge eating, today's segment is on the widely popular dish, orange chicken. Orange chicken is moist, citrusy, morsels of tender chicken coated with a sticky, sweet, spicy glaze. It's super easy to make and it's so yummy for your tummy. I hope you're hungry. Let's get busy. All right, let's, we're gonna start with the ingredients for the sauce. So we have three tablespoons of orange juice, two tablespoons of pineapple juice, three tablespoons of vinegar, four tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce, and just a dash of the dark soy to give it the color, and a dash of sesame oil. It's about like an eighth of a teaspoon. That will be a dash. Uh, two tablespoons of Kikoman soy sauce, one eighth teaspoon of white pepper powder, one quarter teaspoon of ginger and garlic, minced already, uh, one cup of chicken broth. And if you don't have chicken broth, you can use water, but just add uh, some chicken bouillon or chicken base to it. And then hot pepper oil to taste. So let's put the sauce together. This basically they're gonna combine all the ingredients together uh, except for the ginger and garlic. We're gonna do that later when we start heating it up. All right, so put the orange juice in. Pineapple juice. Vinegar. Sugar. Ketchup. Hoisin sauce. Kikoman soy sauce. White pepper powder. And your soup stock or chicken stock. Just a dash of the uh, dark soy. It's just basically needed for color. Don't need very much of it. And sesame oil. And finally, the hot pepper oil. And again, that's just to taste. It's purely optional. Ingredient for the uh, batter, I got one egg, quarter cup flour, quarter cup cornstarch, one eighth teaspoon of baking soda, one eighth teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, and about half cup of water. We'll see if we need all that. Okay, so let's mix it up. Put the oil in. And the egg. Flour, and the cornstarch, baking powder, and baking soda. we didn't need all the water after all so you want it kind of a, like a, a thin pancake batter okay okay let's cut up the chicken then all right I have uh, four, uh, four 
chicken thighs right here, about 18 ounces. I cut most of it already, but I'm gonna show you how, uh, how I prepare it. You could do it several ways. Um, you can make it so that it's just uh, nuggets, like so, like nuggets, like this. Or you could do it like strips, which I tend to like. So strips would be more like this. Because then they, you get more of the, the, the batter and the coating uh, and uh, it get a little bit crispier. Alright, once you got the chicken cut up, you're just gonna put on in flour. Just gonna coat it. Doesn't have to be real heavy, just maybe lightly coated. Now we're gonna deep fry it and put it in the batter. Make sure the oil is ready. It's, uh, you want it to be about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And just put it one at a time and you don't, we don't want to overcrowd this because that will really lower the temperature. Probably get about eight or nine of these pieces in. And we'll let that cook. Alright, it's been about six minutes already. And it's pretty close to being done. We're gonna put that over here. We're gonna deep fry them one more time to get it extra crispy later. Okay, we're gonna do a second batch now. Okay, it's about six minutes give or take, so I'm going to pull these out. And we're going to do our third batch. Third batch coming up. This is uh, about six minutes already, and I'm gonna pull these out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double fry the, the ones we had before. It's good to let them rest a little bit, and then this is what we're gonna be eating today. We'll deep fry that for about three minutes or so, three or four minutes. Alright, so this is pretty much ready. Nice and crispy now. Now, with the, with the rest of these, we can save it for at least uh, several days. Stick it in the refrigerator and refry it when uh, when we're ready to eat again. All right, we're gonna get the wok heated up here. I'm gonna put a quarter tablespoon of oil. Gonna heat that up a little bit. Put your ginger and garlic in. Okay, 
it for about 20 or 30 seconds. And then you're going to put the sauce in. Okay, and while we're heating up the uh, sauce, we're gonna toast the sesame seed, white sesame seed. We're gonna just gonna toast it. And again, the sesame seed is optional. Once it starts uh, to boil, you can put your cornstarch and water mixture. Just drizzle in a little bit at a time until it gets thick. Now we're going to save some for the next day, so we're just going to put some in here. Toss the chicken back in. sesame seed over that and there you have it and for our famous taste test it's crunchy sweet spicy it's excellent I hope you get a chance to try it. Please uh, comment below. Uh, I'd like to hear your comments. And uh, subscribe, like, and share. Next time. Great, so a bunch of viewers are interested in buying these black t-shirts, Dragon House t-shirts. So if you're interested, uh, please email me at this address down here, right there. And uh, let me know what size and quantity you want and then uh, we'll try to get some and uh, 